had some cushy cations and oh my gosh valentine's day is literally tomorrow i'm literally recording this and i'm going to edit this the day before valentine's day and i thought why not right before valentine's day why not make a crocheted organ heart keychain like how super cute and cool is that it literally looks like an actual heart organ like look at that look at that isn't it so cool so this is an intermediate to advanced um tutorial um mainly because of the mainly because because of the aorta the pulmonary artery and the superior vena cava um that's the only reason why but it is it's because it's very very fiddly that's the reason why i say that it's, that it's an intermediate to advanced pattern is because it is very fiddly um it's a lot of working with tiny small stitches like in the round um so but a beginner would be able to do this but it'll just be very very fiddly um because it uses very beginner um beginner stitches the single crochet the increases the slip stitch um all of that stuff um, it's literally all of these um, arteries, the veins, and all of that's not the veins, <laughs> um, but all of the, the arteries and the valves and the canals and everything. Um, it is all crocheted um, with six single crochets, one round of six single crochets, all the way around. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm so excited to teach you guys how to crochet this cute little um, organ heart keychain. I am so super excited guys so with that being said let's get started with the materials okay guys so as for the materials I'll be using regular charity double knit pull skein yarn um, and it's 100% acrylic um, 233 meters or 256 yards it is 100 grams it recommends a four millimeter and I'll be using the color royal blue as well as metador red um, so they are both the same weight and all of that. Um, and as for the rest of the materials, we'll be using a 2mm crochet hook. This is just to get the keychain nice and small and those stitches nice and small and tight. Um, and then you'll also be needing a tapestry needle uh, with a large eye. A pair of scissors. We'll need a stitch marker as well. And then you'll need a, a keychain as well as a jump ring. And you'll need a pair of jewelry pliers just to help squeeze that jump ring closed. And you'll also be needing um, some stuffing. So you'll be needing some stuffing as well as a blunt pair of scissors to push that stuffing in um, just to make it a little bit easier and yeah that is the material so let's get started with crocheting this heart organ guys honestly it's so cute let's get started okay so to get started we are actually going to make the actual heart so this portion um over here we're going to do this portion here okay so it's pretty simple i'm gonna just jump in and start uh, recording this tutorial now i'll start showing you uh, Okay, so what you'd want to do is you want to start off with a magic ring. Okay, so to do your magic ring, you're going to take your tail end and your working yarn. You're going to hang that over your two fingers. Then you cross, you're going to cross over once, twice, and then the third time, you're going to cross over and form an X. Then you're going to insert your under those first two loops and pick up that second loop. Then you're going to do a chain one to secure. So you're going to yarn over and pull that first loop through that loop on your hook. Then you can take your magic ring off of your fingers and then you can place six single crochets into the magic ring and to do a single crochet you're going to insert yarn over pull through you'll have two loops on the hook and then yarn over and pull through two to finish off your single crochet again you're going to insert yarn over pull through you'll have two loops on the hook then yarn over and pull through two that's two three to count your stitches you just flip your work over and you should see like little v's 
and each of those little V's is one stitch. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six stitches. Okay, and then now to close this magic ring, you're going to take your tail end, and you're going to pull on your tail end, and you'll see one loop is being pulled in. So you'll take that loop and pull it down towards you. Okay, then you're going to pull on your tail end to get rid of that big loop. You're going to pull on that tail end and then that other loop should disappear. Okay. So now we should have six single crochets in our magic ring by the end of that first round. Then we are going to start increasing. So what we're going to do is we're going to place one single crochet into that first stitch. And then grab your stitch marker and insert your stitch marker. And then we're going to do an increase into that next stitch. And an increase is just two single crochets into the same stitch. Then again we're going to go into that next stitch and do one single crochet. Then in that next stitch we're going to do an increase. And again in that next stitch you're going to do one single crochet. And then in that last stitch, you're going to do an increase. So by the end of that second round, your stitch count should have gone up from 6 up to 9. So we've in, we have essentially increased by 3 stitches. So we've gone up from 6 up to 9 stitches by the end of that round. Okay, moving on to the third round, we're going to place one single crochet into the first 2 stitches. Okay, so that's 1. Two, and then an increase into that third stitch and again one single crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase and then again you're going to place one single crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase into the last stitch and then you would have increased again by six sorry by three stitches and you would have you would have 12 stitches by the end of that round so it would have gone up to six nine and then 12. okay then moving on to the next round we are going to remove our stitch marker then we're going to place one single crochet into the first three stitches. So that's one. Replace your stitch marker. One. Two. Three. And then an increase. And then again. One single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then an increase. And then again, one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then an increase into that last stitch. And your stitch count by the end of that round should have gone up from 15 up to 18 by the end of that round. Okay, so this is what it should be looking like now. And then we are going to now place one single crochet into the next five stitches. Sorry, into the next four stitches. So now we're going to place one single crochet into the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and then an increase into that next stitch. And then one single crochet into the next four stitches. And 
and then an increase. Okay, so again, it is one single crochet into the next four stitches and then an increase. Okay. And then an increase into. And then an, an increase into that last stitch. And again, your stitch count should have gone up from 15 by 18 at the, at the end of this round. <clears throat> And then moving on to round six, we are going to place one single crochet into the next five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then an increase into that next stitch. And then you will repeat that around. Placing one single crochet into the next five stitches and then an increase and your stitch count should have gone up from 18 up to 21 by the end of that round and then increase and then again one single crochet into the next five stitches one two three Four, five, and then an increase into that last stitch and again your stitch count should have gone up from 18 up to 21 by the end of that round okay. and then moving on to the next round we are going to place one single crochet into the first six stitches so that's one two three four five six and then an increase Again, one single crochet into the next six stitches. And then an increase. And then repeat that one last time. So one single crochet into the next six stitches. Three, four, five, six, and then an increase into that last stitch. Okay. So now we've got kind of like the point of the heart. So now we need to um, work up the sides of the heart to get this to roughly the heart that we need. So we are going to now place one single crochet into each stitch around for the next four rounds. So for rounds 8 to round 10, so that's 4 rounds in total, we will be placing one single crochet in each stitch around with no increasing and no decreasing. We'll have the same stitch count. So sorry, by the, by the end of the previous round actually, our stitch count should have gone up from 21 up to 24 by the end of the previous round. So for the next four rounds when we place one single crochet in each stitch around your stitch count should remain the same as 24 stitches okay so you can go off and you can continue placing one single crochet in each stitch around until you have 10 rounds in total okay Okay, so now I am back and I've completed my four rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around for the next four rounds and you should actually have a total of 12, uh, sorry, 11 rounds by the end of that, not 10. 
Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you should have a total of 24 stitches and 11 rounds by the end of that. Okay, so now we're going to start decreasing to start closing off the top of the heart. So what we're going to do is we're going to place one single crochet into the first two stitches. So that's one. Place this your stitch marker back. So that's one, two, and then to do a decrease, we are going to find the front loops of those first two stitches. Okay, so the front loops are the loops that's closest to you of the V. So there's the V, there's the front loop, and then that's the back loop. So you'll poke your hook and insert your hook under that front loop of that stitch, then twist your hook down and insert through the front loop of that next stitch. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through two to finish off your single crochet. Again, you're going to yarn, uh, sorry, you're going to place one single crochet into the next two stitches. Then you're going to insert underneath those next two front loops. So underneath that first front loop, twist your hook down, then insert your hook into that next front loop, and then yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two to finish off your decrease. Okay, and then you just repeat that around, and then your stitch count by the end of this round should go from... 24 down to 18 by the end of this round so again it's one single crochet in the next two and then an invisible decrease so you'll go underneath that front loop and then underneath the next front loop yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through those two loops to finish off your single crochet and then you're going to carry on repeating that pattern all the way around and your stitch count should have gone down from 24 down to 18 by the end of that round And then you should end on a decrease. So your last two stitches should be a decrease. Or your last two stitches, you'll decrease those two together. Okay, and then I'm just going to tuck my tail in from the beginning into the heart. It's going to add to the stuffing. Okay, and then again, your stitch count should have gone down from 24 down to 18 by the end of that round. Going on to the next round, you're going to place one single crochet into that first stitch. Replace your stitch marker and then a decrease over the next two stitches. We'll decrease the, the next two stitches together. And you will repeat that around, placing one single crochet in the next stitch and then decrease the next two stitches together. And your stitch count will have gone down from 18 down to 12 by the end of that round. Or by the end of this round, I should say. And now, before we do the last round, we can stuff our heart. So just pull up that loop there, and then we can stuff our heart. So you can grab your pillow stuffing and your blunt pair of scissors, and then we can just start stuffing. So place your stuffing or your polyfill on top of your the heart, and then just push down with the scissors into that hole there or into the top of the heart. to just stuff a little bit more make sure you get all in those little nookies and crannies there okay I think I'm going to do a little bit more
Yeah. I think I need to stop just a little bit more. Okay, so now that's what our heart should be looking like now. So now we're going to do our last decrease round before we end off. Okay, so moving on to the last round, we're going to decrease the first two stitches together. Then replace your stitch marker. And then decrease around. So now we're going to close up this this hole at the top now, and we're going to decrease it closed. And by the end of this round, your stitch count should have gone down from twelve down to six by the end of this round. Okay, and then we can end off so you can remove your stitch marker and then you can grab your scissors. Leave a little bit of a tail, just snip that and then pull up and out. And then you'd want to grab your tapestry needle. And now you're going to sew this hole closed. Okay. So now what we're essentially going to do is we're going to do like a really big decrease. So in order to do that, you're going to go underneath the, the front loop of that next stitch. And then you're going to go through the front loop of that next stitch, front loop of that next stitch, and just keep going all the way around until you have threaded, oopsie, <laughs> until you have threaded um, your tail end through those the front loops of each of those stitches. And what you want to do is just pull on your tail end and that will cinch it closed. And then what I like to do is just insert the needle into the center and then come out somewhere on the bottom of the heart. And then just pull a little bit tight just to pull that nice and flat. Okay. And then you can go and weave in your tail end. So insert your needle through the same stitch you came out of and then out somewhere else. Oopsie. I lost my tail end. Okay, and again, insert your needle into the same stitch you came out of, and then out somewhere else on the heart. Insert your needle into the same stitch you came out of, and then out somewhere else. And then you will just repeat that a handful of times until it is completely sewn in. Okay. So now that is the actual um, heart done. Okay. And now we can start working on the aorta. So the aorta is this red part here at the top. Okay, so now we're going to start working on the aorta. So with red, so with red, you're going to want to um, find the ninth row from the bottom or the fifth row from the top. So we can count from the top because it's easiest. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we're going to insert our hook into that into the bottom of that fifth round. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. 
Okay, so it's essentially the sixth round. Then you're going to poke your needle um, into the, the round at the top. If, I hope I'm making sense. Okay, so you're going to find the sixth round. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Then you're going to poke your needle. Okay, so then you're going to insert your crochet hook into the fifth stitch, the fifth row from the top. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So from the from the sixth row from the top, you're going to insert your crochet hook and poke your hook out into the fifth round. Then you're going to take your red yarn and you're going to put it over your hook. And then pull through and then do a chain one just to secure that. And then we're going to place one single crochet into that same stitch. Okay. And then again you're going to go into that next stitch and then poke your hook out into the row above. And then do a single crochet. Again insert your hook into that next stitch and into that row above like that. And then do a single crochet. Then we're going to turn our work. You can chain one if you if you need to chain one, and then find that front loop of the stitch. Okay. So then find that front loop of the stitch. Okay. So you're going to find the front loop, which is that that loop there. And then you're going to place a single crochet in there. You're going to find the front loop of that next stitch as well. Okay, the front loop of that next stitch, do a single crochet. Again, find that front loop of that, of that last stitch there. Okay, find the front loop of that last stitch. And then do your single crochet then you're going to turn your work and then you can kind of see those back loops that are now available okay then you're going to go into into those stitches and i find hooking that loop works best so maybe even hooking it from the top like that and then doing your single crochet like that and then find your second uh, back loop well in this case it's it's the front loop for us but it is essentially the back loop okay you're going to work in those back loops there so now we would have gone from three stitches up to six because we essentially worked both into the front and back loops of those previous of the of the stitches from the first row um, you will now have six stitches in total. So we're in from three up to six. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like. So now if you want, you can place your stitch marker here. Um, but I, in my personal opinion, I don't feel like it's necessary. But if it helps you, then you can put it in. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around for the next. For the next 12 rounds so for 12 rounds we will just have one single crochet in each stitch around okay so now it can start to get a little tricky now okay but you're just going to continue placing one single crochet into each stitch around until you have 12 rounds in total. Okay, 
So you can go off and continue until you have 12 rounds in total. Okay, so now I'm sitting on I'm sitting on four rows, four rounds at the moment. Um, so you would just continue that until you have a total of 12 rounds. Okay. Okay, so now after completing your 12 rounds, what you'd want to do is you just want to single crochet over three stitches so that we can essentially um, have our work like this if this makes any sense um, so we need to have our hook this side of the work so that we can uh, slip stitch um, slip stitch the aorta to the heart so now what we're going to do is I'm going to chain one after that and then I'm going to find my first single crochet or my next single crochet and then insert my hook into that into that stitch just opposite that and then we're going to go onto our heart and then we are going to um, we are going to slip stitch into the fourth row from the top so we're going to count so that's one two three four okay so we're going to find um so we're going to find uh this the a stitch just opposite where where we previously joined in the fourth round so we're going to insert our hook into that fourth round and then poke it out onto that fifth round and then you're going to yarn over and pull through pull through the, the heart and pull through that stitch and then you're going to do a single crochet again you're going to find your next your next stitch and then push your hook through to the other side like that and then find your next stitch on row four and poke your hook out into the next round the next round and then yarn over and pull through and then do a single crochet again find find your next stitch and then poke your hook through that through those last two stitches and then find that next stitch on the heart then yarn over pull through and then pull it through pull it through the, the aorta and then yarn over and pull through two to finish off um, your single crochet yeah so now that is what it should be looking like now so now we can end off so you can grab your scissors end off and you're just going to yarn over and pull up and through Okay, so now that's what it should be looking like now. Okay, and then what you'd want to do is you want to grab your darning needle and then you just want to sew um, or weave in your tail, e tail ends so that they don't get in the way. Okay. So I'm just going to sew back down into that stitch that I previously slip stitched into or single crocheted into and then come out into another stitch on the heart, pull that a little bit tight and then you just want to repeat that process of how we first sewed in our first tail end. So you just want to repeat that a few times and then do the same for this one. Yeah, and then you can snip your yarn, or your tail ends, I should say. Okay, so now that is what it should be looking like now. And now we need to do the valves. So now in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our crochet hook again. And we're going to find like the center most, um, like the center most area of the aorta here. And then we're just going to insert our hook into that middle stitch there. And then out the next row there and then put your yarn on and then yarn over chain one then we're going to do two single crochets into the same space so where we joined we're going to do two single crochets there 
Okay, and then we're going to go over, so we're going to go over like one row across and then across one stitch, if that makes any sense. So you're going to find your next row and then poke your hook into that next row and then into that next stitch on that row and then do two single crochets there and then and then you're going to do the same so you're going to find that next um that next row and then do two single crochets in there okay and then you want to slip stitch to the beginning so find your first stitch which is over here okay which is over there find your first stitch and slip stitch so to slip stitch you're going to yarn over pull through and then pull that loop through that hook through that loop on your hook sorry you're going to do a chain one and then you're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around and your stitch count should remain the same as six stitches And then you can slip stitch to the first stitch and end off yeah so now that's what it should be looking like now so you can end off okay and then again you can weave in your tail ends so that they don't get in your way So I find what's easiest is just um, going into the actual heart and like weaving in your tail ends into the actual heart, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so now again, I'm just going to thread my needle into my heart and just weave in that tail end. Yeah, and then do the same for the other one. Yeah, so down into the, the aorta and then down into the heart. So now this is what it should be looking like now. Yeah, so now we're going to do another two more on here. So like the same way that we've been doing, we're going to do the, these other two. So you're going to find sort of like the other two are going to be like around this area here. So you can insert your hook into that one row there and out the other side. And then insert your yarn and then do a chain one and then again just do two single crochets in there and then find your next stitch so I'm just going to go over that next stitch from where I previously went into and again do two half uh, sorry two single crochets there and then again I'm going to do two single crochets over here 
Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, yeah, like that. And then again, you're going to slip stitch to that first stitch that we did. Chain one. And then do one single crochet in each stitch around. Yeah, and then again, find your first stitch and then slip stitch in there to join. And then end off. And then you would essentially just repeat the same for the other side. You would find um, you would find that like corner most. So you'd find like the center most spot there between the edge and the center, and you'd do the same for that side. Okay, so now I'm finished crocheting the aorta, and this is what it should be looking like now. Um, so yeah, we have the aorta with the three valves, that's what it should be looking like now. Okay, so now we are going to move on to the, to the superior vena cava. which is this one over here. So we're going to move on to this one, which is the superior vena cava. Okay. So we're going to move on to this one now. So you can put your red yarn aside and grab your blue yarn. Okay. And then what we're going to do, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our yarn and our crochet hook and then we're going to find like, I don't know, like maybe like a nice side to the heart. So maybe, let's see, I'm going to go with this side. Yeah, this side. I'm going to go with this side. Okay, so right here um, by the, where the aorta comes out of the heart on this side, um, what we are going to do is we are just going to um, insert our crochet hook just like sort of like about one row away from from the aorta okay so you're going to insert your hook there poking it out into the the next row then you're going to yarn over and pull through and then do a chain one to secure and then we're going to do the same thing basically so we're going to place one single crochet into that stitch and then find and then go up one row up from where we um, where we did our first single crochet and then do another single crochet and again um, find your next stitch there and then do a single crochet 
So now you should essentially have three stitches. So we're going to do the same thing um, that we did when we were first started crocheting the aorta. We're going to chain one and turn. You're going to find that first front loop of that first stitch and place a single crochet and place one single crochet into the front loops of the remaining two stitches. And then you're going to turn and then place one single crochet into those available back loops. Okay, it can be a little bit tricky to go into those back loops. And again, you'll just place one single crochet into each of those back loop stitches. So again, our stitch count should have gone up from 3 to 6 by the end of that first round. Okay, so now um, from round 3 to round 6, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. So you should still keep the same stitch count of 6 single crochets and you'll do this until you have 6 rounds in total. Okay, so now once you've completed uh, crocheting those six rounds, we're just going to slip stitch uh, to end off. So you're going to find your next stitch, then you're going to yarn over, pull through, then pull that first loop through your second loop, and then and then you can end off. Okay, so you can pull up and out, and then. And then you just want to weave in your tail ends. Okay. So now we need to make the the branch of the superior vena cava. So we need to make the little branch that sticks out the side. Okay, so what you'd want to do is you'd want to grab your hook and your blue yarn again and then you'd want to insert your hook into round 2 or round 3 into round 2 and out of round 3 Okay, so we're going to count Okay, so I'm going to find this like middle portion here So I'm going to insert my hook into the top of round 2 and then out by round 3 and then Insert my crochet hook there and then yarn over pull through do a chain one and Then do your two single crochets in there Okay, and then find your next stitch Okay, so find your next stitch And then do your two half double, sorry, your two single crochets there. And then turn and then do another two single crochets this side. So you are just working in those stitches from, from that tube, that blue tube that we made, if that makes any sense. So we'll just, we are just crocheting right on top. Okay, so I've joined with the slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one and then do one single crochet into each stitch around. Okay, 
Yeah, and then after that, you just want to slip stitch. Um, you just want to slip stitch to that beginning stitch. So find your first stitch and slip stitch in there. Okay, and then leave a little bit of a longer tail. Um, just snip that off. So now what we're going to do is we're now going to um, tuck this so that it, it pulls a little bit like that way if that makes any sense so it doesn't just freely move like that we're gonna we're gonna tuck it down so that it move so that it sits like that okay so i'm gonna take my longest tail end okay and then i am now just gonna sew directly down into the superior superior vena cava and then into the heart okay do not pull tight okay just to get your thread down there and then what you'd want to do is you want to sew back up into there but then come out on like maybe like the second row And then I'm going to sew down into that stitch there and then pull that tight. Yeah. Like that. Okay, and then weave in your tail end like we've done before. Yeah. so now moving on to the pulmonary artery which is this one over here we're now going to work on this one now okay so what you'd want to do is so you're going to want to turn your heart the other way so that so that the superior vena cava is on your left hand side to the front um and we're going to start working the pulmonary artery on the right hand side of the back if it makes any sense the back of the right hand side hope i'm making sense <laughs> okay so it's going to look like this okay so you're going to place your hook into the fifth row from the top so you're going to find your you're going to find the top row there top round and we're going to count down five rows one two three four and five Wait, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So here. And then you're going to insert into that, that fourth round over there. And then again, you're just going to... You're then just going to grab your blue yarn. And then insert your hook there. And then yarn over, pull through. And then do a chain one. And then we're going to place one single crochet there. Whoopsie. So do that chain one. And then we're going to do one single crochet into that first stitch. Then move over one stitch over. And then do another single crochet there. And then again go into that next stitch over and out through the top row there. And then do a single crochet and again you should have three single crochets we're going to chain one and turn and then we're going to go into that and then we're going to turn into so we're going to turn and then we're going to go into uh that front loop of that first single crochet do your single crochet and then into the remaining front loops do your one single crochet And then turn and then place one single crochet into those um, available front loops there okay so again you're gonna just place one single crochet into those available back loops okay and again by the end of that round your stitch count should have gone up from from three up to six by the end of that round. Okay, 
So now what we're going to do now is we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around until you have a total of 11 rounds. Yeah, so you can keep on going until you have a total of 11 rounds. Okay, so now that I am finished with that, I'm now going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So find my next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull that first loop through that second loop. And then you just want to, so you just want to leave a little bit of a longer tail end now. And snip that off. And then pull up and out. Okay, and then I'm just going to weave in this other tail end here. And now what we're going to do, yeah, so we are still going to come back and crochet the little branch that's going to go on here. So we're still going to come back and crochet this little bit. Um, we are just now going to tack the, the pulmonary um, artery down to the heart and we are also going to embroider the blue veins on. Okay, so you just want to thread your darning needle. And then you just want to uh, sew down. Um, so you just want to sew down. So you're halfway down the, the artery. And then come out like somewhere over there. Like just halfway from halfway of the artery. So you just want to sew down. And then you just want to um, poke the artery through the heart. And then you just want to um, tuck this down. So just sew down into the center of the heart there. And then sew back up into, into the artery. This can be a little bit fiddly or a little bit tricky. And then again, just sew back down into the heart. Okay. Yeah. There we go. You just want to pull it a little bit tight, but not too tight. Okay. Just so that we can um, tuck that in place. And now what we're going to do is we are now going to sew down. Um, we are now just going to sew some veins. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert our needle into the same stitch we came out of, and then we're going to ins we're going to come out just at the bottom of the at the bottom of the superior vena cava we're going to come out at the bottom there so then once you come out at the top um by the superior vena cava what you'd want to do is you just want to come down like three rows and then come out like three three stitches from there like that and then sew back into that same stitch we came out of. And then we are going to go down. So we're going to go down at a bit of an angle. Like that. It looks like that. And then we're going to sew back up from there. And then we're going to come out. Okay. And then sew down just underneath that stitch of that yarn. That blue yarn there. And then once you're happy with the way that the vein looks, you can just weave in your tail end like we have done before. 
so really for the vein you can kind of go in any direction just kind of make it look like a little bit i don't know like scattered i should say or like kind of like like a not quite like a lightning bolt but like <laughs> like you know how like a lightning bolt kind of have like like little branches like branching off in a sense yeah like something like that Okay, so now we're almost finished. We just have one more branch to do. So you just want to grab your yarn again. Okay, so you just want to grab your yarn again. And then go to where we first joined. the. So you want to go back to where you joined the pul pulmonary artery okay so you just want to insert your hook just like two from two rounds above and then inserting your hook into the second row and out on the third round and then just yarn over pull through do a chain one and then again just do your two single crochets in there okay and then find your next stitch and do two single crochets in there and then turn to the other side and then do another two single crochets there and then again join with the slip stitch So then join with the slip stitch and then chain one and then do one single crochet into each stitch around. Okay, and then you just want to slip stitch to your first stitch and then end off. So again, you just want to grab your scissors, cut a tail, cut a piece of yarn. Cut your yarn and then just yarn over and pull up and through and then just weave in your tail ends like we normally have okay well there we have it there is our little heart organ isn't it so cool guys this is honestly so cool i think this is like one of the coolest things that i've ever crocheted one of the like coolest keychains i've ever made and designed um so yeah that is the actual organ done so now the last thing that we need to do is add our keychain and jump ring so i'm just gonna get my jump ring here and my keychain there we go and then what you'd want to do is just grab your uh, grab your jump ring and your jewelry pliers okay and then you just want to insert it just next to that valve at the top there at the top of the um, aortery the a uh, at the top of the aorta Okay, so you just want to insert your, your jump ring there and then place the keychain on like that and then just close up the jump ring. Okay, so now there we have it. There is our finished um, heart keychain. Isn't that just so adorable? Like, look at that, guys. Isn't that just so cute? Which one looks better? The first one or the second one that I did? I feel like the first one that I did looks so much better. I'm not sure why I literally followed the same steps. I have no idea why. But yeah, isn't that just so cool? Just love the way that it came out. Okay guys, um, that is it for today's tutorial on how to crochet this cute little organ heart. Um, yeah, so this is the last keychain for Valentine's Day this year that I'm going to do. Um, I really hope you liked it. 
So out of the, the three keychains that I've made so far for Valentine's Day this year, um, I think this is my favorite. So the first one that I did was this tic-tac-toe one. And obviously there's a tutorial for all of these. So it is super cute. So this, <laughs> so you could use this on your first date um, or on a Valentine's Day date. So um, it is a little zipper tic-tac-toe pouch. And inside the zipper you have um, cute little hearts. Can't really see them properly in there. But anyway, so these are cute little hearts. And then like you place them on the little tic-tac-toe. Um, board so yeah you can play tic-tac-toe with your date with your boyfriend or your husband or partner whatever the case may be you can play little tic-tac-toe at the at the restaurant waiting for your food <laughs> so that was the first one that I did um, I quite like um, I quite like this tic-tac-toe keychain um, I quite think that it's quite cute and um, yeah so that was the first one that I did and then the second tutorial that I did for Valentine's Day was my cute little Valentine's Day mini bee. Um, and then, yeah, then obviously the third one is this actual organ heart. Like, how cool is this? Doesn't that vein just, like, look so realistic? Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys kind of learned some, some anatomy, I guess, of the organ heart. So, remember, the red one at the top is the aorta. Then this one is a superior vena cava. That like little V-shaped one is a superior vena cava. And then this one that pokes through the one side underneath that, that aorta. That is the pulmonary, pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery? Yes. The pulmonary artery. And then that is the little blue vein. So yeah, I think this is just super cute. So this is not just cute for Valentine's Day. Like you put like a little personalized engraved disc or heart there to say like um i give you my heart and like it's like an actual <laughs> organ heart um which is like a cute little pun i guess or you could actually give this to a family member or a loved one or a friend who, who actually is in the medical field like a paramedic or a doctor like how cool is this honestly that is so cool Guys, I'm so chuffed with myself. This is my first heart that I've designed on my own. First time, first try. Isn't this so cool? I'm so chuffed, guys. I'm so chuffed. But can you believe Valentine's Day is tomorrow? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've been with my man for five years now. Going on for a sixth year this year. And, um, yeah, I'm super excited. Honestly, I have some really cute gifts for him. I'm not going to expose it at all. Because he'll probably watch this video. Um, <laughs> he'll probably watch this video. Um, so I don't really want to expose anything. He actually may not watch th this video. Because he doesn't normally watch my videos. But I do normally send him the link to my video. But I don't think he would have watched to the end. I don't think so. Okay, but you know what? I am not going to spill the beans. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited for Valentine's Day. Got some really cute gifts for him. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching how to crochet this cute little organ heart keychain and really hope you learned some anatomy. Um, so yeah, that is it for today's tutorial guys. Thank you guys for watching and yeah, happy crocheting. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. It really does help out my channel and guys, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. We're literally almost at 2,000 subscribers guys. Like there's so many of you guys who watch my tutorials who aren't subscribed. Like what are you doing with your life? Just click that subscribe button, you would not want to miss a thing. I have some really exciting tutorials and things coming to my YouTube channel. And every every week, every Monday, I upload a game, the Spin the Wheel series. So basically take any mini keychain that I have designed here on my YouTube channel, or that I have here on my YouTube channel, not these latest ones by the way. Like my sunflower one, my frog, my evil eye, my heart, my two heart keychains, the mini bees, the large bee. Um... All of those keychains um i will be doing a spin the wheel game and the spin the, the wheel decides what keychain pattern i make into a little mini amigurumi keychain I'll, I'll show you an example so 
So I have done three spin the wheel episodes so far. So to give you a sneak peek on what goes on, um, so I take my big my big keychain patterns, like this one here. So this is my big my big um, Valentine's Day heart keychain with the tassel. So there's two colors. There's pink and a red one. Okay, and so the spin the wheel decides which pattern which pattern I make into a mini, mini tiny version of this. So the first week, the first week that I did my spin the wheel episode, um, I got this. Look at how tiny that is. Look at how cute this little red one is. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. Isn't it so adorable? I'm sure you could even wear this as earrings. Like, look at that. Look at that. It is so cute. I love it. 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 So isn't it just adorable? So that was the first episode. Second episode. Now just for comparison's sake. That's the normal keychain. This is the mini version from the series. How cool is that? And then look at the little mini strawberry that I did too. Isn't it so cute? So this was the third episode. Um, isn't that just so adorable? So yeah, you do not want to miss out on that because every Monday, the, I spin the wheel and the wheel decides what pattern I make into a little mini, mini little keychain. And you watch me suffer through, <laughs> through the challenging, difficult parts of the pattern. Um, so yeah, if you kind of like that, that kind of stuff, if you, if you like the whole game spin the wheel series or that, that kind of feel, I guess, that kind of excitement, then yeah, then go over and watch those episodes. You wouldn't want to miss it. Um, I will be releasing another one this coming Monday. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe guys. And again, thank you guys for watching on how to crochet this cute little um, heart organ keychain. So yeah, that is it for today's tutorial guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. It really does help out my channel. Remember, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, that is it guys. Thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting. Bye guys.